to test the power steering the hose burst. And I knew the hose was in pretty bad shape. So let me get under here and see what's going on. So unfortunately, this is gonna suck to get to. All right, but that's what's going on. It bust up there. Now those hoses look pretty bad. So let me do it to it. We gotta undo that, and then we gotta undo up there. And there ain't no nice way to do either one. So I'm gonna clip this here and start the party. Oh, and there's a wasp nest up there too. Cause there's just no, not enough fun here. and guessed the size. Which is great, except that I can't get in here. I'm gonna need crow foot wrenches to get in here. I've added to my investment of tools. Oh, shit, there's enough room to set in here. Almost. There we go. I got one loose. Pain in the ass. I need some stubbies. Here's the other loose. I can't get to the other side. In order to do this, I need under that green spit thing. And unfortunately, these are what's called gullmite screws. So we're going to see if we can get them out with vice grips. Because I don't have and can't get this little specialty driver.
I only have a few of them to do. one. Uh-huh. I barely have access to it. Gosh darn it. So this is the hose that came out of the rear and went to the passenger or the curb the street side. So the driver's side and the rear. So I was able to get replacement hoses made at O'Reilly while I waited. They were 60 bucks a piece. A little expensive, but hey, they're done. So let me get a wrench and let me get busy. Very quickly, so I mean, I took the headlight out to get access to this. This fitting was bad, but I've got it all back together, and uh, I'm going to finish it up tomorrow. I'll top off the fluid. Thanks for watching.